Thank you all uh, and good afternoon. Uh, I'm Elisa Bonaccini and uh, I am the uh, Accartes faculty of the University of South Florida and I'm here to present this uh, uh, interdisciplinary Italian-American uh, project in Sicily. Uh, my work is on the uh, administrative uh, uh, side of the project uh, about uh, agreements with uh, local and regional institutions. Uh, 3D uh, digital imaging for the study of archaeology and the global dissemination of knowledge is of growing relevance and has proven to be extremely beneficial in a particular case study character characterized by a poor digi digital um, accessibility. <coughs> Currently, uh, UNESCO World Heritage List consists of 1,073 sites. Italy alone has uh, 53 uh, UNESCO World Heritage sites. Sicily has the higher number of UNESCO sites in Italy, seven heritage sites, three intangible sites, um, UNESCO, uh, three intangible UNESCO heritage sites and two global geoparks. With all its UNESCO World Heritage sites, Sicily has an extraordinary heritage perfectly representing the cultural achievements of many Mediterra Mediterranean civilizations. But um, yet the digital presence is not so uh, available. Uh, in order to uh, bridge the digital divide and share globally the archaeology of Sicily, a large-scale digitization project has been undertaken in the frame of a collaborative research agreement between the Center for Virtualization and Applied Spatial Technologies of the University of South Florida and three departments of the University of Catania, the departments of Civil Engineering, of Mathematics and Computer Science, and of Humanities. Here we are going to present only the preliminary results of the first step of the research, conducted in partnership with the Regional Department for Cultural Heritage and Sicilian Identity, that is like a regional ministry, and specifically with the regional hub of Piazza Merina, Aidona and Enna. In summer 2017, the interdisciplinary team focused on three cases study representing in different ways and on different scales the archaeological heritage of Sicily. Terrestrial nurse scanning and aerial photogrammetry of Villa del Casale, located about three kilometers outside the town of Piazza Merina. One of the most important and better preserved late Roman villas in the Mediterranean area and high quality micro photogrammetry of 3,500 square meters of mosaic floors. Aerial photogrammetry of Greek city of Morgantina and virtualization of 120 Greek and Roman artifacts from collection of the Museum of Aidone. The Villa Romana del Casale was built in the first quarter of the 4th century in Enna countryside. The size of the villa and the amount and quality of its artworks indicate that it was the economic center of a huge agricultural estate a latifundium in Latin, named on ancient maps Philosophiana. The villa was like uh, a little city with a microcom microcosm suburban life, uh, and it was a place of leisure and peace, but also a life center of economic and administrative activities. Containing the richest, largest, and most complex collection of Roman mosaics in all the world, the Villa del Casale is a World Heritage Site since 1997. The villa appeared to have served uh, several purposes. It contained some rooms that were clearly residential, others that certainly had official purposes, a number of rooms for guests and others for servants. They were definitely not built for commercial or production uses. The villa was probably the permanent or semi-permanent residence of the owner, where, in his role of patron, he received his local clients. And it would have functioned 
as the administrative center of the latifundium. Only the manorial portions of the complex have yet been excavated. Ancillary structures like housing for slaves, workshops, stables have not been located yet. The villa is centered on the peristyle garden, around which almost all the main public and private rooms were organized. Firstly, the technicians, the technicians of the CVAST worked on the terrestrial laser scanning of the Villa del Casale by scanning all the villa with uh, Faro Focus 3D 350, which is designed for outdoor applications and it was really useful inside the villa and uh, uh, working uh, on the mosaics. Uh, thanks to its small size, extra lightweight and extended scanning range, it guarantees distance accuracy up to 1 millimeter, millimeters, a range from 0 0.6 meters up to 350 meters, and provides high definition photos overlay up to 165 megapixel color. The work started from the thermal bath section, and I will show you some first results of our work in progress. This little room was the private entrance to the baths, decorated with a mosaic floor representing the mistress going to, uh, with her children and two servants to the baths. Then they scanned the biapsidal bath hall, which served for fitness, a rectangular room with two abscess at the extremities, decorated by eight Corinthian columns on the long sides. The floor represents a magnificent scene of a race of chariots in the Circus Maximus, one of the most popular Roman games. Another relevant component of the project is the training of graduate students from the three departments of uh, the University of Catania uh, by 3D technicians of SIVAST in order to expose young, use, uh, young students to a first-hand experience on the subjects of their thesis and dissertations in the field of uh, digital humanities. Students were trained on site by scanning as they were member of the SIVAS team, as you can see here in the Frigidarium, the bath central hall. In this 3D cloud of points rendering, you can see its magnificent decoration of little fishermen, cupids, among nymphs of the sea, with tritons and many various fishes and dolphins. It, was, uh, um, it has not always been easy to scan some rooms, as uh, in the case of the Tepidarium, where the floors are raised on brick pillars. The baths, in fact, were connected with external burning ovens, the head of the fire passed over empty spaces under raised floors, which were rested on columns made by bricks. In a couple of days, the Sivas team scanned the wall mosaics of the peristyle. A mosaic floor stretches for dozens of meters like a huge carpet. There are 160 heads of animals within reds of ivy. Plain trees, laurels, and edges of flowers are populated by pigeons, pheasants, and peacocks. The scanning project ended in the North Master's Quarter with the vestibulum of the enter, uh, or the enter hall, Oops. richly decorated by the representation of Ulysses and his companions intend to get Polyphemus drunk sitting on the rock. In about three weeks, the Sivas team has been able to scan the whole villa, here presented in the work in progress 3D cloud of points model, which will be stitched while, uh, with the whole set of photos made with photogrammetry. At the end, the aerial photogrammetry made, uh, made with the Phantom 4 Pro led the SIVAS team to work on creating a 3D model of the wall villa. The second part of the project was about the Greek city of Morgantina, the only site in Sicily where the Agora and all the public buildings surrounding it, such as the theater, the Chrysosterion, Triporticus, uh, the Macellum, the Buleuterion, uh, public barns and kilns, and uh, uh, many private houses, are perfectly preserved. Around the city public baths, other sacred areas and necropolis were also discovered. 
Here, aerial photogrammetry was used to create a digital replica of the district of the Agora and of nearby blocks of houses. The results the SIVA staff is working on is a 3D model of the entire area. The SIVA staff worked on scanning the theater, a project directly executed by the students of the Department of Civil Engineering of Catania and on creating the 3D model. Finally, the last case is the collection of Greek and Roman antiquities of the Museum of Aidone. Here, here uh, a group of about 120 artifacts, among the most representative of the entire collection, were 3D scanned and specifically catalogued. The vast staff worked on scanning artifacts using three methods. By scanning with 403 3D scan arm, which have laser accuracy of 25 micrometers, a minimum point spacing of 40 micrometers and 2,000 points per line. By scanning with 3D mobile scanners, our 3D Arctic EVA and 3D Arctic Space Spiders to capture textures, and by using photogrammetry. Objects have been selected for chronology and typology. Since the, uh, since the very first prehistoric artifacts, as you can see here, to the Roman ones. Terracotta artifacts and statuettes form a great part of the Idone Museum collection, such as this woman lying on a bed or this female statuette attaching her sandal. One of the most famous masterpieces of the museum is the head of Hade for which the SIVAS staff used directly photogrammetry. And you can see uh, that it preserved all the colors, red uh, in the hair and the bird uh, blue. SIVAS staff is working on a very big data set of photos to take the texture first <coughs> and then the final 3D model. To share on the web through a specific collection on Sketchfab, that is not visible in, in this moment, as we are doing also for the three model of another famous piece from Morgantina, the goddess well known as Venus of Morgantina. Siva staff is hoping to finish soon all this hard work and to create an open data collection of all the sites and artifacts scanned. This is only the first step of a bigger project in Sicily. And that's all. Thank <laughs> you.